Hello, South O. It's Miss Z back with another read aloud. This one is for summertime. It's called Ice Cream Summer by Peter Sis. And I am reading with permission from Scholastic Press. Ice Cream Summer by Peter Sis. Dear Grandpa, thank you for your letter. So far, it's been a delicious summer. I am very busy. But don't worry, I am not forgetting about school. I read every day. I am conquering big words like torna tornado and explosion. I write a lot. I am even creating my own book. I practice my math facts. 10 scoops plus three scoops equals 10 scoops minus seven, three minus two. Sometimes I trip over a simple equation, but if I slow down, I always get it right. Word problems are never a problem for me. I work them out on my own and with the family. If there are 65 days of summer and I eat ice cream, I eat one ice cream cone every day, how many ice cream cones will I eat before school starts? If each scoop costs 50 cents and I have $2 in my pocket, how many scoops can I get? If all six of us eat, ice, eat one ice cream cone with two scoops, how many scoops do we eat in total? If the ice cream truck has five strawberry shortcakes and four of us buy one, how many are left? At day camp, my friends and I study all sorts of fascinating things. Today we learned cartography. That means how to make a map. Blueberry Hill, Mango Rocks, Cocoa Island, Strawberry Mountains, Vanilla Lake, Raspberry Road, Chocolate Valley, Coconut Point. We take exciting field trips too and explore lots of new places. Statue of Liberty with an ice cream cone. You can be sure my brain is still working. I am reading the encyclopedias you gave me. I am diving into world history. Two thousand years ago, first ice cream. I am traveling to ancient China and researching the whole European continent. So it says, Marco Polo travels the Silk Road and brings recipes from China to Italy. Italian Queen Catherine de' Medici marries King Henry II of France and unites two countries in ice cream matrimony. Soon, people all over Europe are eating ice cream. And I wouldn't forget American history. The Founding Fathers and I have a lot in common. Quakers from Europe bring ice cream recipes to America. Even George Washington loves this new treat. He buys his own ice cream machine. Yum. And this is two to three hundred years ago. So does Thomas Jefferson. He adds vanilla and uses eight, an 18 step recipe from France. By 1813, ice cream is an official state dish. President James Madison serves it topped with strawberries from First Lady Dolly Madison's garden at his second inaugural ball. St. Louis in 1904. I am discovering great inventors too. At the World's Fair, Frenchman Arnold Fomacho sells ice cream. Ernest Hamwe sells Syrian zablia or waffles. Arnold runs out of paper cups. Ernest provides waffles to wrap ice cream. The first pointy bottom ice cream cones are born. Ohio, 1920. Harry Burt experiments with dipping vanilla ice cream into melted chocolate. Ice cream on sticks are born. And dreaming up some ice cream or some inventions of my own. As you can see, Grandpa, I've been working hard all summer, though I always take a break on Sundays. 
I have definitely earned the special trip you mentioned. I can't wait to find out where we are going. To the top of Ice Cream Peak? Wow, this is the best summer ever. <laughs> and that, my friends, is Ice Cream Summer. Hopefully you learned something new about ice cream.